E-transfers are a popular way to send money directly from one bank account to another electronically. In Canada, we send about a million e-transfers every day to make payments. It's convenient and financial institutions say it's secure. But is it? The system relies on email. You e-transfer your friend, your friend gets an email letting them know. The email has a security question. If your friend's email has been hacked, and that's easily done, billions of personal accounts have been compromised in corporate data breaches, fraudsters can see the security question. So make that security question a strong one. Don't ask, what's your dog's name? What city do you live in? What favorite sport do you play? Chances are, those answers can be easily discovered by fraudsters on social media. Also, don't send the answer to your security question in an email. If fraudsters have hacked into your friend's email, they can see the answer too. All the big banks have electronic agreements like this. Buried in the fine print, you're not protected unless you create a strong security question. Make sure only you and the recipient know the answer to that question and don't send the answer by email. Auto deposits a way to skip the security question and answer altogether by registering your email to a specific bank account. That way the money is deposited directly to your account. But cybersecurity experts warn if your email has been hijacked by fraudsters, auto deposit just makes it easier for thieves to pull off a cyber heist. So what do security experts say you can do? Protect your emails using something called two-factor authentication. It's a security feature that requires a code that arrives on a separate device to confirm it's you logging on. A bit more work, but a lot more secure. And hey, if you found all of this helpful, send me an e-transfer. Erica.Johnson at... What? I'm kidding. CVC.ca.